Student Talk. It's your favorite neighborhood big homie, Color Me Fresh. And today, it's all about Kilo. And if you're new here, you're not familiar with my work, I am a custom sneaker artist. I do anything from video games to anime, but I also created an original story called Kilo 47 so I can put original characters on sneakers. So you did all of this just so you can put characters on a shoe? Why, yes. Yes, I did. I created lore and story and character. I then gave those characters abilities, attributes, backstory, and personality, all for the sake of putting them on a sneaker. Now these are some of the materials I'm gonna need to make this shoe. I'm also gonna need Smoothcast 300 and some bar cement. For those of you who are wondering who the character on the sneaker is gonna be, it's no other than my man Otis. OG Otis, Master Otis, the dragon, whatever you wanna call him, the older gentleman who's the ladies man but will still break his foot off in your John Brown hind parts. Now let me go get the iPad so we can do this mock-up and get it popping. Otis's power is he's an elementalist and he's also a martial arts expert. So when he moved to New Gen City, which is the primary city of Kilo 47, he opened up his own martial arts dojo. And one of his favorite abilities is called the Dragon's Kiss. So he decided to name the dojo after that ability. Thought it would be pretty dope for me to turn the sneaker into that of like the dragon. But why do a regular dragon when I can do a mechanical dragon? So that's the approach I'm gonna take for the shoe. And I also wanna turn his ability, the Dragon's Kiss, into the swoosh. Now with that out of the way, it's time to make the kicks. I'm gonna see you in about 20 to 25 seconds because I'm gonna time lapse the prep work because really, who wants to see that? Just finished the prepping on the base coat. I have the gray base coat here, and then I put pinhole filler on the toe box. Um, I don't know why I did it after I put the gray base coat down. Probably should have did the pinhole filler first, but I'm end up painting that anyways. Now for the next step, I really don't know what I want to do because the inside here is going to be like the typical black and white manga panel. Ooh. I want to add layering with leather. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and apply the layers of the leather now so then I can paint it all at once. I mean, at least the bigger parts first. So let's do it. So that part is done. So I went ahead and beveled the edges of the leather I put on. I might do this one, I'm not sure yet. I wanted this shoe to be like more weathered. I mean, because it's like a, the older robot kind of kind of like the mascot of some mechanical dragon outside of the building. It's gonna be a lot of weathering from like the rain and the weather and then just from nicks and necks. So I wanted this side to be more of the weathered side. So I'm looking at the shoe, what I'm gonna do next, I think I'm probably going to do the base coats. I don't think I wanna do the white yet because if I do the white and then I do the base coat, so I'm gonna have to retouch up the white because I'm pretty sure the color of the shoe, like the yellowish green color is gonna get on the white. So I'm probably gonna do that next, the base coat, and then do the white. feel like so far so good now the next step is I'm a bit torn so I, I kind of want to start the character work on the inside of the shoes 
with the black and white manga panel and then Otis in color. But I'm a bit afraid if I do that now, when I start doing the details like around the shoe, um, I might get something on the inside and then mess the white up then I have to touch it up. And it's a lot harder to cover things with white than it is for me to cover white with any one of these colors. So I think I'm gonna do the details next. Um, I'm gonna paint this panel here a different color and I might start actually getting into some of the rivet work. that's done that took me all day i think it took me about six hours to do that so anybody out there do y'all think that this is just johnny on the spot no sir no sir so far i really like how it looks but of course i'm probably gonna have to go back and clean it up a little bit more um i didn't really touch the back panel too much but i am probably gonna have to fix some of these blemishes and maybe readjust some of the line weights but so far so good now the next thing i want to do is the mid panel here i kind of want to have it being like exposed wire so i might do that next and then from there i should be able to start the character work So yeah, that's done. I had to go to the garage and do the little glowy effect right here. Um, I honestly don't know why I tried to paint the blue first. Don't ask, I mean, I don't know. Brain fart, I guess, but whatever. Um, I didn't want to do too much in this mid panel. I like how it looks, but again, majority of this is going to be blocked anyways when I put the swoosh on, so there was no need for me to do too much. But I do like how it came out so far. Um, you guys know what's next? Hitting that like button. Zing! So I think next I can finally start doing the character work on the inside here. Now luckily I already have the characters drawn on my iPad. Now because it's my own original character, my own original drawing, I may not have to draw it again. So I could either turn it into a stencil, but I could use like graphite paper and then just kind of lightly sketch it onto the shoe. But then I'll probably have to clean up the white. So I really don't know which method I want to use. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know, maybe I might, I might do the graphite.
now that that's out of the way, only a couple things I do left, and that's primarily the small details. Now, Otis is from the bag, so I want to put Fizz on one shoe, and I want to put Dragon's Kiss on the other shoe because that's the name of his dojo. And of course, him being from the bay, like I said, I have to show my boy Mac Dre some love, so I'm gonna put him on the tongue tag. So, let's do it. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best. Yes, I cop that crib and bought two chains, and then I hid the rest. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to do your thing, but just don't do the most. Uh -huh. I put my friends in that old Benz and took that to the coast. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I do the best. Yes, I feel my mattress, pay my taxes, then I blew the rest. Right. And it's okay to do your thing, but just don't do the least. Uh -huh. I quit my boss and cook that sauce and fed that to the street. Uh, sliding it like a wet flow, already fried from the get-go. Alligators look like Echo, everything I do, they echo. My bank on big man, my drip too wet, that spit can. Yo, swap me like two tips, hold that there like dip can. No rehearse, need no reverb. Hold your lip, don't say three words. Quick trip to get that lick lick. Broad tree fur if you prefer. Quick ride, no time, I'm in there. She clockwise, real good skincare. No tick top for that. They know that love don't live there. I can't roll dice on your plan. Red Rover, I don't hold hands. Get fortune from my foresight. Investment brought me four bands. Don't roll rage. I so here we are, ladies and gentlemen, 55 hours later, we've arrived at the promised land. We're not doing surgery. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, so me right. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, so me right. I might spend it, I might spend it, I might spend it, I. I might spend it, I might spend it, I might spend it, I. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, so me right. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, so me right. So a couple of things about the shoes. So I wanted the seams on the inside to depict more of Otis's personality for the first pair instead of his fighting style or a fighting scene. So Otis is all about the young tenderonies. So reading the shoe from left to right, you see a scene of him trying to talk to a girl in about her 20s. And of course she disses him because he's an older gentleman. But Otis being an original player from the Himalayas, he takes offense to that so he disses her back. And he did it somewhat tasteful of course because he could have did it a lot worse. And then the You Ugly Lace Locks. Now the reason for these is because again, Otis is old school. He wears these these you ugly finger rings kind of how you did back in like the 1980s but he used these for the ability he called the five finger discount and he saved this ability for the men who like really disrespect women either they hit women or they call women out of the name if otis hears about it or sees you do it you're going to catch these hands and he brands you with these rings and that's the whole point of it so you guys let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the shoes now as you can see i did a couple of things off of camera i did the lace lock off camera and i did the horns off camera you know i had to do some of that stuff in the garage and the garage Garage is tight on space so I just stayed up one night late and just went ahead and knocked that out also if you're new to customizing you see that I painted the outsole do not paint the outsole if they're gonna be worn this is gonna be our artistic display piece so I painted the outsole so again if you plan on wearing these or your customer is gonna wear these do not paint the outsole the paint will come off and so I tried to use a smooth cast 300 that I mentioned before there was really no need for it I made the lace like out of leather and foam letters and then the horns were just some studs that I modified to fit the whole aesthetic of the shoe so again, if you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Until next time, ladies and gents, remember everything deserves a little color. Peace. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, so me right. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, so me right. I might spin it, I might spin it, I might spin it, I. I might spin it, I might spin it, I might spin it.